All right, everybody, welcome back to another X Vault Gaming video. X Vault here, and today we have another episode of Salty Batch Files because there's just so much salt to go around on the Xbox side of things. And again, we got to kind of even things up, and they are losing their absolute minds over the fact that Xbox is going to have their first party games more than likely come to other platforms. So let's have some fun with this here, and let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, what we're going to do is get right to the salt here. This is the next episode of the Salty Batch Files, so let's jump right to it here. The first one, Goat Gaming. Again, if you remember from the last video, I mentioned he got trolled so bad, flamed so hard, he changed his name from Ja Crispy to Goat Gaming. Here we have another example, exclusive. PlayStation fans are raging because... Xbox is getting Final Fantasy XIV. The newest trailer has dropped and the game is looking better than it ever did on PlayStation. One PS fan said, why is Xbox always getting better stuff than we are? This was our game. So, <laughs> the best part, first of all, is he gets community noted. So if you're not aware uh, on Twitter or X, uh, you can now get community noted if you're submitting wrong information or misinformation and stuff like that and you got someone that is community no approved this is what happens so we have the footage in this video is a cgi trailer for final fantasy 14's dawn trail expansion all platforms will be getting a graphical upgrade at the same time as dawn trail release uh but it will not make the game look like the trailer even on xbox platforms uh, this is hilarious because, I mean, there's two things here. He's he's purposely trying to do this to, to make things, uh, you know, not seem so bad or always put PlayStation in a bad light. He doesn't sit there and make it super trolly, like, on purpose, like he's joking around. The guy's in all seriousness, and that's kind of what's happening here, right? So another joke, another moron. We'll see if he ends up eventually changing his name yet again, so keep that in mind. Moving on to extension here. Now, pardon me while I fix my chair. Okay. <laughs> Fixing the chair here. Um, extension. Now, if you don't know who this is, this was originally the uh, catfish, Andrea Piccinini, known, known as uh, Joseph Cruz. Don't know what's going on with them or what. Anyway, so they kind of uh, weaseled their way out of, of the whole catfishing thing and just changed the name altogether and is not really acknowledging anything from the past. But now they're called Extension, where it's just gaming news, supposedly. But they're still the same crazy individual here. And here we have, let me get this straight. Sony pays to keep Final Fantasy, Marvel IPs, Silent Hill, St uh, Stellar Blade, etc. locked from coming to Xbox. And in response, Microsoft will give PlayStation even their own exclusives? What are Xbox players gaining in this? Less games while the other consoles gets ours and the ones we don't get really is that how microsoft will treat the xbox fan base and then to top it off we got to tag sarah bond we got to tag phil spencer himself and good old aaron greenberg because they're gonna come to your rescue and be like we're so sorry we didn't know you guys felt this way you know what us as a business it doesn't matter we don't want to make money you guys aren't buying our games because, A, we've conditioned you to rent the games via Game Pass, so because of our stupid mistake, and number two, you guys aren't buying the games or hardware, or enough of you aren't, that's, that's our bad. We're going to go ahead and make this so it doesn't happen. Okay, salt exuding here. Really stupid. Again, we're going to kind of quick fire through this because I got a lot of examples, and I don't want to make this a 30-minute video for y'all. You got stuff to do. Uh, next, Xbox Series XS. Rumor, when this game gets revealed is coming to Xbox, the internet will explode. What do you think? God of War, Spider-Man, Super Mario, Scalebound, Goat Gaming, the Jock Crispy guy, breaking, Spider-Man is coming to Xbox, everyone knew PlayStation was desperate for money, and now it's confirmed. So Jez stating, can't believe, uh, just confirmed to me in DM that Spider-Man is coming to Xbox, double fire emoji. Clearly, Jez was joking. These other guys are not. They're trying to play the whole, our stuff is more than likely going elsewhere, so we're going to kind of troll uh, the opposite side here and, and make it seem like God of War, Spider-Man, Super Mario, all sorts of stuff is going to be going to the Xbox console or on Game Pass. 
totally not happening. Again, it's it's like the five stages here, and I'll, I'll show you this towards the end, the five stages of grief, but in this instance, it's in regards to their Xbox platform with the diehards here. So, absolutely ridiculous. Put it in your delusional world. Uh, put it out there all you want. Not happening. Uh, then good old Peter Ovo. He has to make an appearance every time here, right? I have two different sources confirming with me that God of War, Ragnarok, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom are coming to Xbox consoles and, of course, Photoshop's <laughs> the stuff on an Xbox physical box case. Um, nah, in your dreams, dude. I, more so in your dreams that Tears of the Kingdom would be heading over there, first of all. Um, and second of all, God of War, also not happening. Uh, and your sources is probably the brick wall you've been talking to every day, aside from your delusional cult that you do follow as well. Uh, and then we have, of course, Peter Ovo again. Question, will you buy an Xbox console if you can play Halo and God of War on PlayStation? First of all, why would that even be a question? Why would anybody buy an Xbox console, aside from the diehard cultists, if you could play God of War and Halo on the PlayStation console? That's, that's, I mean... Even PC elitist out there can agree that if you have everything available on one platform, why would you buy another platform unless you are just a shill at that point? Case in question. So, of course, we got good old Beast of Truth, the four foot two uh, gangster that threatens to unalive people all the time, every day, and in spaces all day. I don't know what this guy does for a job. Um, since you asked, I'm going to keep it at 100. If Xbox would be pimping themselves out like that to those who've done nothing but try and humiliate them, and they get nothing of equal or greater value in return, I'd put a strain on our relation, or it'd put a strain on our relationship. That's not boss behavior. Xbox is a boss. Um, okay, first of all, why are you treating your piece of plastic like you're in a relationship with it? It reminds me of that episode of Family Guy where they're talking about the two hillbillies and they're like, that's my sex box right there. It's my turn with the sex box. That's what it sounds like. That's what it's perceived as. That is mental. Second of all, Xbox is not a boss when it comes to anything. They, they stay in third place. Again, big company corp, Microsoft, because of their software applications with uh, Word, Excel, Teams, on and on and on, that Windows, right? All that stuff is what brings in the money mainly. That's that's what's going on. Xbox, the gaming division, is anything but a boss, especially ever since the 360 version. That's what everybody's clamoring for, and you guys sit there and make excuses for it, and that's why you're not gonna get any better. That's why they're in the position they're in. You don't demand better, you don't vote with your wallets, you don't do a lot of things, and here we are now having relations with our plastic hardware, apparently. Okay. Next here, again, one of my favorite, favorite personalities out there. If you can call um, paint drawing on a wall a personality, Destin Legary, well known from his IGN antics and even more known on social media with his ridiculous antics. So uh, here we have his thumbnail. Why consoles are going extinct reaction. Yes. Consoles going extinct, you mean Xbox, right? Because PlayStation continually is in the positives for year-over-year -year sales. Nintendo Switch has been doing very well until recently. They're just a little bit under. The, the console has been out. Everybody and their dog pretty much has one. Uh, so that's why. That's why it's, it's rumored that we're going to get the Switch 2 later this year even. We'll see what happens once that happens. You can expect those numbers to be through the roof. So the only one you're trying to exude and push this off of is yourself because you know Xbox is becoming more and more relevant and as soon as those first party games are going to other platforms, man, it's done. The relevancy is done. They might, they might get another generation of Xbox consoles out there, but it's going to be more and more likely it's going to be less and less relevant. Those are the facts. So don't project your bullcrap, Destin, everywhere else as usual. Moving on. Boss Sean. He puts this in a weird format here. I usually like a clean format. This is weird. Uh, my thoughts. I don't like the entertaining pony narratives. Or you don't like entertaining them. 
at Xbox, so you gotta tag them, right? If you're listening, next line. As an Xbox gamer from the OG Xbox, next line, do not put games on PlayStation or the Switch. Next line, it diminishes the brand. Next line, feels like a slap in the face to the fan base. Next line, exclusives are important. Um, first of all, get your, I, I'm not a big stickler where you have to have grammar, but the format's just really shittily done, first of all. Uh, second, you know, again, you, they aren't going to listen to you. You're an idiot. You're, you're a joke on social media, uh, of course. And you just getting upset that it's on other platforms because you know that you have nothing to stand on for when you were a shill for a certain platform and they do this. And again, I mentioned this on past videos and especially salty batch files that I understand the frustration, but again, you guys put yourself in this situation. So I get the frustration, but to sit there and make a comment like this, even if PlayStation did this, I'm not going to make a comment like that. I'm not going to put a post like that. That's ridiculous. Exudes the salt, exudes you're an idiot, exudes the fact that you don't know how to format anything. I don't know what your main job is. Maybe, hopefully, it's not in the writing or sending out emails or communications because clearly you'd be horrible at that. Moving on, Goat Gaming yet again. Trying to troll out here, apparently. Uh, breaking Game Crazy Peg on a recent podcast said PlayStation might bring Spider Man 2 to Xbox to recoup losses and to help fund the releases of Spider Man 3 and Wolverine. If this is true, this could be a new shift in strategy for Sony moving forward with rising costs. Um, first of all, A, no, that did not happen. That's not going to happen. Um, there are no losses on Spider-Man 2. It sold well over 5 million copies. To put in context, Street Fighter, the latest Street Fighter that did come out that was multi-platform in a, in a short amount of time, in the same amount of time, uh, sold 3 million copies. Spider-Man 2, that is only available on the PlayStation 5, has sold 5 million. Yes, Spider-Man cost a lot more because of production, advertising, all that stuff, but the money comes back pretty dang quick. They'll break even here any moment, and then they're going to do more and more and more because Spider-Man does not stop selling. Look at the previous Spider-Mans and them being in the profit margins there. Uh, moving on, Colts. These rumors, and not to be confused with the other cult, this is a, a different cult than Cold Eastwood here, but these rumors are so stupid. Xbox is the only platform that allows you to play their games through two options of console, PC, cloud, and on top of that, you can play them on Game Pass. Journalists pushing this think that Xbox needs to also put them on competing consoles as well. Because they do you moron. They are not making money by conditioning their fan base to rent the games. Game Pass is not sustainable within a closed ecosystem. So therefore, ergo, you're going to see those games arrive more than likely to other platforms that hopefully buy those games. Because if I tell you what, if they get released on the other platforms and they don't sell as well as they're hoping, that's going to be a whole nother talk. That's going to be a whole nother ball game. I'll tell you that. So what you said is completely incorrect. I know you think that because they have endless bags of money, they can do whatever they want. That's not the case. If they did, they wouldn't be doing, you know, staff costs and cuts and stuff like that. They've been doing that all the same as any other company out there. If they had endless funds, they would do that. They are not your best friend to give you unlimited amount of entertainment out there without seeing some sort of recoup from that. Get it through your head, you idiot. Uh, Chad, this guy, you know what? Let me take a sip here. Because this here, Chad, major PlayStation L incoming phone stars is nothing but a Splatoon ripoff. And this proves that PlayStation doesn't have any original ideas, so they resort to stealing ideas from others. How disgraceful. I hope the game fails and you learn an important lesson. <laughs> so... <laughs> Why, why so angry? First of all, second of all, this is not a first person or not not a first tar party game, right? This is a Square Enix game. Deal with it. This isn't the first uh, exclusive PlayStation platform console game from Square Enix. They have a great partnership. This is just another one of those deals, which is coming to PlayStation Plus as part of the deal. Um, I did play the beta. I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I thought it was okay. 
nothing I would have ran out and bought, and I think this is smart that they do that. But this guy just getting so freaking upset and that it's PlayStation's fault that <laughs> they stole these ideas. Is it similar in a way to Splatoon? Sure, but what's not similar to any other game nowadays? It's very hard to create a new genre. It's very hard to create a new IP with, with new ideas and to have something completely different, right? Um, I think this sets itself apart quite a bit. If you played the beta, you would know that it's not like Splatoon really at all. It has a lot of similarities in certain aspects, but ultimately it's not. And again, you moron. Square Enix is not first party for Sony. Move on. All right, so here I want to share with you, like I was talking, the five, uh, you know, stages of grief with Xbox fanboys, eccentrics, understanding that the possibility of their first party games heading to other platforms, of course. At first, they, and this is true, and I'll tell you where they're at. Right now, you know, they, they well, not right now, they started in denial. This was not happening. It's not happening. There's no way it could happen. Why would it happen, even with all this proof and Phil Spencer and Sadia saying what they did, still denial. And then comes after that when they get proven over and over and over of the words coming out of their mouths, they start getting angry, bitterful, uh, hateful, spiteful, all this stuff. The anger is there, right? They started projecting and we've seen a lot of that. And now we're at the point of bargaining. This is where we're at right now. They're bargaining. So that's why you're seeing some of those examples. Well, if, if, if they get some of our games and we get theirs, right? Super Mario, Tears of the Kingdom, God of War, Spider-Man, Returnal, whatever, right? They're going to get those games. Um, they're hoping in getting Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth, they're hoping those come over uh, and not being timed exclusives. They're at the bargaining stage, right? They went through that. So after this is all said and done, you watch. It's going to go full, full circle. We're going to get the depression stage. They're going to get very upset. A lot of folks, once it's fully announced, if this does come to fruition, like I, I really think, I think it will. I really do. So if that does happen, depression's coming. They're going to be upset. You're going to lose a lot of fans. Uh, they're going to have to figure this out. And then eventually they'll accept it, right? They may retract what they say. They may say, I'm sorry. Well, I'll, I'll stay where I'm at. I'm just used to the ecosystem, whatever the case is. Some will, some will jump ship because they're just tired of it, but they'll, they'll accept it. So either they'll accept it, stay where they're at, continue to shill, continue to do what they want, and then there'll be some that accept it and move on to other platforms, perhaps to get the best value for them. Um, and then, yeah, that's that's what's going to happen, ultimately. It's it's interesting to see because it is, it is a grievance process, right? Especially with these eccentrics. And again, I do feel for them to a point, but it is what it is. Let's share, speaking of Colt Eastwood, I wanted to share something here. He is really on one today. Uh, as the time of this recording, uh, The Last of Us Remastered, Last of Us Part 2 Remastered did uh, release. And uh, so he went on a little tangent today, as you can see. I think I figured out where PlayStation Studios are reliving the PS4. The remastered of us remaster station five it's time to remaster horizon forbidden west, forbidden west and ragnarok <laughs> like the dude was on a tangent man so upset he's upset that it sells he's upset it creates buzz he he's upset it gets great reviews he's upset that we have more to play with now nobody's forcing you or holding a pew pew to your head forcing you to play these games and especially with last of us part two remastered i mean it's a ten dollar upgrade if you already own the game why why is that such a bad deal we're getting a ton of games coming out february with rebirth we're getting uh fantasy relink we're getting foam stars now we're getting so many games hell divers too we're getting so many games and yet it's just a remaster station if you throw those games in there for the fans that do want them and they sell well and you're correlating it off of the success of the now last of us tv series from hbo max that has done super super well it you know as a business that makes sense you don't have to like it no one's forcing anybody to buy these you are salty as all salt can get at uh, you're you're in all sorts of bitterness. I don't know what stage Colt's at at this point. He certainly isn't even at the bargaining stage yet. So I think he's going through the five stages a little bit slower than others are. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up a couple of these things. 
at the end here. The first one's just a funny video. This guy is an idiot. There's going to be some cussing in here, so if you don't like that, you might fast forward a little bit. Uh, but it's just a funny video. This guy is completely salty. I'm not even going to give him a shout out of who he is. If you know who he is, you know who he is. But here you go. When it comes to Xbox games going through other platforms, if it's Nintendo or PlayStation, my main stance is I don't like it. I don't like it. Because Xbox deserves exclusives on the box in the ecosystem. 100%, especially in 20, sorry, last gen. After the, after the, they ripped us apart last gen. Talking about no games, no games, no games. Now we got the games. Personally, for me, they can kiss my ass, PlayStation and Nintendo. Especially PlayStation, because we do the console boy shit. Now people are going to say, Dad, why are you crying on a plastic box? Why don't you get a PC or this game? We all come by your bullshit. Shut the fuck with that bullshit. And then I don't like it. But one thing I will say, say for example, say if games were going to go like, say, high fire rush, I really do hope, say people were going to play on the platform. I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but I don't mind if it goes to, uh, to the Nintendo Switch. But the PlayStation, they can kiss my ass. But at the end of the day, I don't fucking love, bro. I hope all these rumors are bullshit. <laughs> all right, and so like you've seen there, uh, it's it's great. It's great to see. Um, I don't understand the background green screen there. Um, I'm pretty sure he's recording in the back of an alley somewhere. Or so it seems, but, uh, you know, you can tell he's extremely salty, he does not want to share the goods. Uh, we know where he's at in the five stages of grief right there. So, just wanted to share that one with you, hopefully you enjoyed that. And let's just do one more. This one is from Digital Foundry themselves. This is just them admitting uh, to everybody else, not them admitting, but letting everybody else know that Xbox, Phil, Sadia, they've all admitted they've lost the console war. They have. So the direction that they're heading is in a different direction. It is very clear and evident right now whether you wanted to believe what happened this last summer or not. So take a look. Microsoft has probably, and I feel there's like a certain resignation whenever it's talked about with Phil Spencer that they know they lost the war <laughs> and uh, they need to prepare for a future that is different and they have to disrupt to do that. And I think this is the best way to do it for them because like you're only having to have this limited market base of people on Xbox consoles uh, for the foreseeable future. And why not open it up to the wider gaming public? Uh, I, I see, especially if Sony is so dominant or if Switch, Nintendo Switch is so dominant. Um, you want to foster relationships of the future and just relying on the relationships that you formed in the past with a, like a diehard fan base that just does keeps and only buying Xbox stuff. Uh, I don't see that's like a viable future to grow. So if they're a business that likes money, this, this all makes a lot of sense. All right. So like I was saying, you could see where they're coming from Their You know, Digital Foundry is pretty evident that they are, are realists as well for the most part. Um, and they, they do know what they're talking about and they can see the writing on the wall as well. So just wanted to share that with you as well, but that'll wrap up this video here. Um, plenty of salt to go around, plenty of facts to go around. Um, so hopefully that sheds some more light. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that. Um, and again, folks, uh, gosh, we are at 946 subscribers out of the 1000 goal. Um, you guys are truly phenomenal. Thank you so much. I can't say it enough. Every video, you can go back to every single video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All the support, your help just helps propel this even more i really enjoy doing this for y'all and hopefully you enjoy the content so that being said leave a like comment down below would love to hear from you of course if you haven't already definitely consider subscribing if you did enjoy the content helping out a small content creator like myself and in that being said we'll wrap it up enjoy the rest of your day everybody and we will see you next time on the next x gaming video and until then take care